I want to find out more about the mysterious Strengthening Church Members Committee. Off to the church to meet its chief spokesman and the mastermind behind the I Am A Mormon campaign, Michael Purdy. What's the Strengthening Church Members Committee and does it still exist? Uh, I don't know and I'm not, I guess that's a question not f for me. I, I, I couldn't tell you that, I don't know. You're the head of media relations for the church. Right. And I've spoken to people, um, ex-members of the church, who say um, the Strengthening Church Members Committee does exist. Does it still exist? I, I, I've heard that, yeah, there is a Strengthening Church Members Committee, but I couldn't tell you the details of how that works, but we'd be happy to provide someone that can. Sorry for my confusion. When I originally asked you, you, you weren't sure. Now you, you do know that it exists, um, and you will give me somebody who knows something about it. Absolutely. So on the Strengthening Church Members Committee, the spokesman for the Mormon Church couldn't give me a satisfactory answer. Maybe the Apostle could. What is the Strengthening Church Members Committee? The Strengthening the Church Members Committee was born some years ago to protect predatory practices of polygamists. I ask what, what, what is it? Well, that, that's what it is. It is to protect... So it does still exist? It's, it does still exist. It does still exist. And it looks at... Uh, it, it's there to defend the church against polygamists? Principally. Prin that is still the principal task. And uh, what is its subsidiary task? Uh, I suppose just to be protective generally, just to watch and care for uh, any, uh, any insidious influence. But for all intents and purposes, all that I know about it is primarily to guard against polygamy. That w would be the substantial, essential part of their work. I'm not on that committee, so I don't, can't speak. Let's talk about Mitt Romney, okay. the man who may well become the most powerful man on earth. Mm -hmm. As a Mormon in the temple, I've been told, he would have sworn an oath to say that he would not pass on what happens in the temple lest he slit his throat. Is that true? That's not true. That's not true. We do not have penalties in the temple. You used to? We used to. Therefore, he swore an oath saying, I will not tell anyone about the secrets here lest I slit my throat. Well, the, the, the vow that was made was regarding the ordinance, the ordinance of the temple. It sounds Masonic, sir. It sounds Masonic. Well, it's, uh, it's similar to, to, to a, a Masonic uh, relationship. The most, potentially, uh, the most powerful man the, on the world the has sworn an oath, which he meant at the time, whatever it is now, that he must not tell anyone about what he's seen, lest... He slit his throat. That he would not tell anyone about his personal pledge to the Lord. I'm assuming that any religious candidate, an evangelical, a Roman Catholic, Rick Santorum, Newt Gingrich, uh, Osama, uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, President Obama, uh, I'm assuming that anybody who has a relationship to God has made a pledge of some kind to God there's, there, there'd be some kind of loyalty to God, or what kind of a God is that?